Hello and welcome to The Big Fight. The Indian state doesn't really seem to have a policy when it comes to hostages and hostage taking and what we should do in that case. And now we are seeing the impact of that continuing to be felt in the Maoist areas. A collector being held hostage, a MLA abducted, released. We're not quite sure what exactly is happening, whether uh, demands of the Maoists are being met or not met. And we are here today on The Big Fight to really try and see if we should have some sort of a national policy on what we should do in situations like this and how do we deal with hostage taking, especially in the context of the Maoists. And joining us in the program, Shoma Chaudhary, great to have you uh, here with us uh, from Tehelka. Uh, Jay Panda, um, whose uh, government in, in Urusha is right in the center of uh, all that is happening. Your MLA has been released and we'll try and see uh, what, what has been behind that. Mr. Bhupinder Singh former DGP of West Bengal. It's, it's great to have you with us to give you a special insight. Renuka Chaudhary of the Congress uh, uh, Party and her constituency is very close to the place where, where a lot of this is, is, is happening. We'll get your expert opinion as well. Uh, it, we are, it, it's great to have joining us Mr. Varavara Rao, who's uh, often said to be one of the most important uh, intellectuals behind the entire uh, radical left uh, or the Naxalite uh, movement. Jay Panda, if I can just start with you. Um, your MLA has been released, Mr. Hikaka. Oh. Exactly what is the policy that the state government of Orissa is adopting? Are you saying if someone's getting abducted, you will pay uh, the ransom in terms of releasing prisoners and being soft on that? Or do you think it's time for a slightly tougher policy than that? Actually, I think you need a, a multifaceted policy. Uh, and it is also high time that we have this national debate and come up with a national consensus about how we should approach this. Because uh, inst uh, incidents of hostage taking are still relatively new in India. And I think different sta uh, states may now have, uh, uh, you know, be wondering about how to go about it. As far as what Odisha has done, let me explain, uh, is that despite all the demands made for prisoner exchanges and releases, we have distinguished between different categories of prisoners. There are those prisoners who have very serious charges against them, and there has been no discussion on those. But there are prison prisoners who have lesser charges against them, and they are in jail for a long time. This is not just a Maoist phenomenon. We all know that throughout India, there is a huge judicial backlog, and ordinary uh, prisoners in jails all over the country are sometimes held for years without trial. You know, Jay, I, so I agree the with point you. I wish to make is that in the discussions, we have agreed to expedite the cases of those with lesser charges, and the courts you know, have taken the final decision. Can I, can, I just, can I just come in on that? That's a principle which we should be applying in any case. The fact that they're under trials and they're prisoners in for a long period of time without getting justice is really a denial of justice itself. That, as a separate point, can be taken. When, however, you're doing that at the barrel of a gun after somebody is abducted, a collector has abducted, a MLA and abducted others, then you're setting into stage a different set of, uh, of parameters, a different paradigm comes in. Essentially, you're buying to the gun. And you're, you're almost giving a, a reward for somebody kidnapping and holding someone hostage. You're absolutely right that it is not an ideal situation to be conducting this negotiation in a hostage situation. But the fact is, even the so-called hard states, like Israel, who do have a policy of not negotiating, quite often make exceptions to their policy. Because you have to weigh the consequences of not negotiating just as much as you have to weigh the consequences of negotiating. Uh, the fact is, yes, we have to take steps to eradicate this backlog of cases, of minor cases, not just against Maoists, but mm -hmm. against everybody in the country. But it requires huge resources. We haven't, as a country, okay, got, I'll, I'll the, got the, the consensus to I'll, commit I'll to I'll come that. to the broader issue of how we deal with the Maoist question. And, you know, frankly, we, we keep debating this in the big... I'm not sure we're going to get an immediate answer, but let's just come back to the earlier point. Mr. Bhupinder Singh, at the end of the day, while accepting that there are cases where, you know, perhaps those trials should be expedited in any case, when you're doing so at the barrel of a gun, is it essentially a case that the Maoists are holding the Indian state hostage? It's not just the collector and the MLA, they're holding the Indian state hostage. Yes, I think uh, I will agree with you. Uh, if you uh, see what has been happening uh, over the last few years, ever since uh, this uh, Maoist uh, insurgency has come to the fore, the writ of the state does not uh, run there. Uh, now we have to uh, sort of ask why these kidnappings have uh, suddenly started taking place. Now, they have always been uh, soft targets. 
these kind of uh, kidnappings could have taken place earlier also. But uh, as a matter of, uh, I, I guess, uh, their own uh, internal policy, they did not uh, resort to that. Perhaps uh, the pressure upon them has mounted and uh, they, they wish to derail all the various uh, the, the government policies, both in terms of uh, the operations as well as uh, the development uh, aspect. Given that they have taken someone hostage, is it counterproductive to release people? Yes, it would be uh, counterproductive. In the long term, it would be counterproductive. Yes. All right. Do you have the NDTV Profit app? All the markets, all the news, and your own homemade, ready made portfolio available there for you. We will right now answer what you should sell, what you should buy when markets are down. Download at NDTVProfit.com slash apps. Get the best app from the channel you trust.